Okay, so it seems like the trematode life cycle is fairly important. It's got about six slides, so here's what I came up with. Um, so you start off with the Miracilia, aka Miracidium, um, and that's a fresh water, so you got this water right here, and there's a bunch of cilia on the Miracilium, so you'll see the cilia there. Um, from there it progresses to the um, to infect a snail, and I call this the straw cyst or sporocyst, but it's shaped like a straw and it's in the hepatic tissue of the snail. So notice this snail is shaped like a liver. And uh, it also loses its cilia, so there's no cilia on this straw. So after the straw cyst, um, then it starts forming these radiae or red guys. Um, and th those are just red radiae germ cells and they form these little red guys with only a mouth and a digestive tract. So notice they don't have the sucker or the tail or anything yet, or any cilia. Um, from there, we go to the circle sucker, uh, but aka Cercaria, and that's, I call it circle sucker because they have their sucker now, uh, they have a digestive tract, a tail, and um, a rectum. Uh, so from here, then we go to the metacercaria, or the middle circle cyst. Um, I called it the middle circle cyst because um, it's kind of in between the infection of uh, humans and the stage where it uh, can affect them. So Cercaria can affect humans, um, Metacercaria can. And so you have this, this fish here with a cyst and a guy about to eat it. Um, so then you should know that the, um, that the Metacercaria is the only yeah. one that can affect humans. Yeah. Oh, and there's a little bolt here chopping off the tail. So when they go into their cyst, their tail uh, falls off and then they're in a cyst. Um, so hopefully that helps. Um, I think that's pretty much the whole like, second.